Welcome to Buffalo on the Rise. I'm your host, Joe Chili. With us, Ginger Martin. Hi, Ginger, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Ginger is from Martin's Mercantile. Now, now, I just have to ask this question because I always wonder when people start up businesses. Did it take a long time to come up with that name? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it was a good friend of mine. We were kind of going back and forth about names, and he said, what about Martin's Mercantile? And you said, it works. Yes, and I did. And your husband it. agreed. He did agree. Now, that's, a, that's a great thing. <laughs> so what was the interest? I mean, what got you started? Well, actually, my husband and I have owned our buildings for over 25 years, and we had rented them out for 18 of those years to an Akron Pharmacy and Gifts. And during the pandemic, um, he had decided to retire and Rite Aid bought him out. So it left our buildings available for sale, um, available. So we had called our realtor to see if she would, you know, be interested in listing them for us. And she said, now is not a good time to This was to during sell. the pandemic? During the pandemic, oh. yes. As far as like for brick and mortar buildings, yeah. it was not a good time to sell. And then we also talked about who was going to be in their right mind to open a business during the <laughs> pandemic. So it left our two uh, storefronts available. So my husband said, well, you've always talked about getting into retail, so here you go. So we talked a little bit about, um, you know, what to start. And so we kind of came up with this, kind of morphed into uh, an upscale artisan market and retail co-op store because we thought um, somebody wouldn't necessarily be able to rent the whole storefront, but mm. maybe, you know, small spots that they could rent. And so I started calling other co-ops in the area and everybody had a waiting list for people to get in. So, and I think a lot of times uh, during the pandemic is when there was a lot of people that started up their own businesses, small businesses at home, as far as with making crafts and things, so. Well, now you're in Akron? We are in Akron. So, so you talked to me a little bit previous to this about, uh, wanting to make uh, Akron kind of a destination, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I mean, we've got Ellicottville, we have Lewis, you know, we have you know, some of the small you know, places around the right. area. So there are some things to do when they come in to go to your mercantile store. There is, so um, we are hoping to get Akron on the map and as far as a destination, there's some other great retail shops right on Main Street. And then we also have some wonderful restaurants too. Um, Akron Falls Park is also just a short walk from the Main Street District there where all the stores and restaurants are. So it's a great spot to stop in and spend an afternoon or you know, just if you need something to stop into the mercantile and just grab that gift. Tell me some of the things that you have in the Mercantile, some of the unique things? Right, wanna... so we have um, a variety of different food items. Um, we carry Fowler's candy. We also have a lot of the Amish um, canned foods that we get in Penyan from an actual uh, Martin's family that's mm -hmm. down there. Um, we also have Two Daughters Bake Shop that um, we're actually known for our scones that she makes. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then we also um, just opened up our cafe about six months ago. And so we're brewing freshly uh, brewed Finger Lakes coffee, uh, which is out in Victor, uh, New York. So they deliver it fresh every week for us, the coffee beans. Where did you become familiar with Finger Lakes Coffee? How did, I mean, was it just out of a clear blue sky? Did you, did, were you in Rochester? Did somebody? Um, actually, we had heard about Finger Lakes Coffee, about how amazing their coffee is, especially from people that have visited the Finger Lakes. And so we reached out to them. Um, Jesse, our rep, is awesome. And he comes every uh, Tuesday, usually, and delivers our fresh beans and fresh roasted beans and, you know, so, so you grind great. it and you make it all? We do, we grind some and the we brew. The smell must be unbelievable. It is amazing, yes. Really? Especially our Jamaica Me Crazy, that's our, our biggest seller. Jamaica Me Crazy? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so, so we have I, a variety of foods and then we have um, new toys. We carry Melissa and Doug toys. Um, we also have crafters in there that make um, pillows. We have woodworking, we have soap makers, candle makers, so just a variety of things. We also have vintage finds. There's a few artisans in there, vendors that have um, vintage items. We have a boutique area, we have new children's clothing. So we just have something for everyone. Where do you find your artisans? So we had posted on our 
um, Facebook page and Instagram that we were looking for artisans. And so um, it's a great problem to have, but we actually have a waiting list of really? people that are waiting to get into our, our mercantile. Yes. Well, that says a lot about the, uh, the mercantile, about yeah, the store itself. Yes. Okay, now we talked about coffee and we talked about grounds and how it smells. Do you do cinnamon scones? We actually had a maple cinnamon scone that was really good, but our best seller would be the uh, fresh uh, blueberry lemon scones. Those are our biggest seller. Blueberry yes. lemon. This is the destination. You have people that just come in for the scone? Yes, we have you our do. regulars that come in every morning and for their coffee and scone or muffin. And so yeah. what time of day does your day start? <laughs> uh oh. Well, the store opens at 10. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm there pretty much, you know, uh, quite a bit earlier than that. Tell us the location once again. So it's 62 Main Street, Akron, right down in the village of Akron um, in the business district there. So um, there's also um, Akron Park. I don't know if I had mentioned that as well, too, that has the falls there. So we have a lot of tourists that come in um, to visit the falls. And How much of a drive from Buffalo? How long? I would say it's probably maybe 40 minutes oh, that's not bad. from Buffalo. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's not bad at all. Well, we really appreciate it. Ginger, Ginger Martin from Martin's Mercantile. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us this morning. Thank you for having me. We'll some people come and visit you. Great. For more information and answers to your questions, contact Martin's Mercantile and owner Ginger Martin at, by calling 585-447-9529 or go to MarkinsMercantileAkron.com. Sponsorship and promotional consideration for the preceding segment was provided by the following.